Hi, and welcome back to my channel. And today's subject is why you will fail as a photographer. To many, the title may seem like clickbait. And in essence, perhaps it is to an extent. Because I want to explain to you that becoming a professional, successful photographer is a lot harder than just being a good photographer. There are many people out there who believe that you just need to attend courses on photography and that you just need to learn your camera very well that you need good equipment, you need the right lenses, and you will become a successful photographer. They attend course after course after course, paying a lot of money to learn photography, to become good photographers. And yes, many of those people do become very good photographers, but do they become successful photographers? And this is where photographers fail. Where young, aspiring, passionate, new photographers become failures. Because they believe all they need to be is a good photographer. They believe that they need this lens or this next new lens or this lens a big lens and these will make them a good photographer and make them successful and when they've gone through those they get to a point where they think you know it's not the lenses i need a better camera i need hold on i need this camera Oh no, no, hold on, I need this camera, or maybe this one, oh, hold on, no, I need this camera. And they keep buying cameras, not knowing that the camera, the lenses attached to the camera, is not going to make them a successful photographer. It has nothing to do with your gear. You can be the best photographer in the world and you will still fail as a photographer. Now, why do I say you will fail as a photographer even if you have all this gear? Even if I have all this gear? About four years ago, I lost all of this. I had none of this gear. I had to start from scratch because everything was stolen and my insurance didn't pay. I had to reacquire everything. It's not about the gear. I acquired this gear for a very specific purpose. I needed every specific piece of equipment to perform a specific task. Being a successful photographer has nothing to do with your gear. And I restarted my entire company four years ago after I lost everything with the minimum of equipment, with very basic equipment. I restarted and I reacquired all of this in just four years. Does that make me a successful photographer? Maybe yes, maybe no. To some, it'll say yes, some no. I'm not a rich photographer. I do consider myself successful because I work hard. I have a passion for my photography and it is my only form of income. I have no other form of income other than some hobby work and some laser cutting and some woodwork, which is hobby work, but it's not an income. 
photography pays my rent, it pays my insurance, it pays my license fees. Yes, I actually pay license fees for all the software on my PCs. I have no pirate software on any of my PCs. And that is very important. You are a failure if pirate software is all you can depend on. Keeping to um, abiding by the law is very important because abiding by the law shows self-discipline. And without self-discipline, as a photographer, you will fail. But that's not the most important reason why you will fail. Most photographers fail as photographers for one simple reason. You can be a very mediocre photographer or you can be a very good photographer and you will fail. Because if you don't know how to sell a photo, if you don't know how to sell your photography, you cannot be successful. So no matter how good you are, no matter how many courses you have attended, no matter how good a, a camera you have, no matter how well you know your camera or your lenses, or how good your lighting is, your, your photography will fail. You will fail as a photographer if you cannot sell a single photo. So I tell people the most important thing to learn is to learn to sell photography. Sell it to the people who really need it. If you don't know how to sell a photo, don't go to more photography courses because more photography courses are going to make you a good photographer, but not a successful photographer. Go to marketing courses. Go learn marketing. I'm not going to teach you marketing. I've got my own style. I've got my own way of selling photos. I know how to advertise into the market that makes me a successful photographer. That's my market. Every market is very specific. And you need to know how to sell yourself into a market. And for that, you need to go study marketing. If you want to become a successful photographer, stop going to photography courses and go to marketing courses. I know photographers who are absolutely brilliant. Fantastic photographers. Some of the best people I've seen. Way better than I have ever dreamed to be. But they cannot sell a photo. And then I know photographers who are, well, mediocre. Even below me mediocre. I know some photographers who are actually, hmm, pretty bad. But who continue in the markets they survive and some of them thrive they are successful even though they are not very good at what they do they are not very good photographers purely because they've seen a market and they approach that market and they sell to that market because they have figured out how to sell to that market If you want to become a successful photographer, first learn to sell photos. Becoming a good photographer is something which takes time. Practice. You don't become a good photographer overnight. And learning the technicalities of photography, aperture, shutter, ISO, and all, how all that stuff works, why do I need a full frame camera? Why do I need a 70 to 200 lens? Why do I need low light prime lenses? 1.8, 1.4 lenses, 1.2 lenses. Why do I need this stuff? It doesn't matter. 
Not now. If you are a learning photographer, the first thing you need to figure out is how to sell a photo. Because if you can't sell a photo, you cannot make a success. You cannot grow. That camera in your hands, you might have a camera. Because most photographers I know own at least one camera. And they are using it. And many of them are giving away their photos for free because they don't know how to sell it. Or they're selling it on the cheap. They're selling their photos for nothing. And in a few months down the line, or maybe a year, or year and a half, two years, the camera breaks down, or even gets stolen, and they are stuck with nothing, and they fail. Or they give up. Giving up is failing. Because they never figured out how to sell photography. No matter how good a photographer you are, and I don't want to break down anyone, it doesn't matter how good you are. It matters how good you are at selling photography. Sell your photos first before you figure out how to become a good photographer. Guys, click that like button. I appreciate it because I want other people, other photographers, to hear about this. I want those who have already failed at photography to understand why they failed. Because photography needs to be an industry where you sell photos and learn to sell photos first before you become good at, at taking photos. You don't need to be a good photographer to become a successful photographer. You just need to know how to successfully sell a photo. See you in the next video.